a tiny little creature the size of a pin's point called the Varroa mite has infested most of the world, including some islands in the state of Hawaii, devastating the honeybee population by the billions worldwide every year. Without honeybees, there would be less vegetation leading to higher prices on fruits and vegetables. But luckily, with the Department of Agriculture, they keep an eye on monitoring our honeybees to see if the Varroa mite came to Kauai. But how? On Kauai, I am monitoring um, swarm traps set up at the ports of entry, such as um, harbors and the airports, which I do about once a month, and um, so that we can find out if there's any um, pests and diseases that come into Kauai, such as um, the varroa mite. Just like the Department of Agriculture is working hard monitoring our honeybees, the Kauai Beekeepers Association is also keeping a close eye on the tiny varroa mite. The Kauai Beekeepers Association was founded um, about, about two years ago on Kauai because people who take care of honeybees heard about these pests called the varroa mite and they were concerned that our honeybees would be injured or harmed by these pests. We're working with the state, Craig Kanashigi and Darcy and the folks from Oahu, but Craig lives here. They're putting out the swarm traps around the island in order to uh, catch any swarms that are coming in and try to monitor my bees. These little tiny mites hitchhike on our honeybees, where it's so tiny that it jumps on the backs of our honeybees and attaches to them and sucks their blood, actually makes them sick. And then it can lay eggs and go into the hive and they can hitchhike their way from honeybee to honeybee and beehive to beehive. And so they can make from one sick bee, pretty soon you have a lot of sick bees and it becomes a big problem. Should the varroa mite come to Kauai, there will be a decline in the pollination for tropical plants that need pollination. Prices of fruits and vegetables will increase and cost us a lot. The varroa mite is one of the pests that we have in Hawaii and for Kauai, Hopefully it doesn't um, arrive here soon. Can you imagine Kauai, the garden isle, without any gardens? Well, sadly, this situation could be a reality due to the varroa mites, and the result wouldn't be sweet. But with the knowledge of the Kauai Beekeepers Association and the Department of Agriculture, the varroa mites won't be hitchhiking our way anytime soon. For Hikino, this has been Casey Moto reporting for Chivas Kamakahele Middle School.